What up, people? So, I'm just going to start out by saying I'm going to start getting some shit done around here. Uh, I, I'm i the type of person that I want to... I have something in my mind, and I'm going to do it. And uh, that's my mentality. I'm going to keep that mentality. I'm going to try to better myself on it because I have slacked on a lot of stuff. But um, I'm getting this tiny house started. I'm getting it started. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, today, I have, in my mind, I'm going to dig out the last three piers because I did change up the design of the house. And I also got to fix some uh, solar panels on this uh, little trailer. Um, the past couple of days, I've had some issues with my jack recharging. Um, I've had to use the generator at night to charge up the power banks. And uh, when I first got this uh, generator, I said I didn't want to use it that much. And uh, so I need to get up there and fix that. That's something I've been putting off. Uh, Jason and Danielle had a Jackery panel over there that was charging their Jackery as well. And uh, something's wrong with that one. They, they said they couldn't figure it out. So I'm going to bring that one over here. I have an extra adapter for it. So I'm going to get up on the roof. I'm going to fix that or at least attempt to fix that. So those are two things I've been putting off. Ooh, excuse me. I just drank a seven up and it's got me gassy. But, uh, I have visions in my head and I try to make them happen. Uh, I wanted the driveway for the, my part of the property. That got done, uh, minus the rocks. We still have to go buy that stuff. I've been putting that off, uh, but I'm still able to drive up to my house area now, which I couldn't before. That was a, That's a huge thing now. <clears throat> I put in some landscaping stuff that I wanted. Uh, I don't know, I wanted to clear stuff out, make it nice and clean and then go back in and add uh, different plants and trees and stuff that I wanted on the property. And, uh, I've made that happen so far. Um, obviously once the house is done, I'll be able to add more stuff in because I'll know exactly where everything is. Um, I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I didn't know what really to put in the backyard because I'm still not exactly sure what I want to do for a back deck area. So, uh, once I get all that stuff done, then I'll put a whole bunch of crap in the yard and uh, make it look real nice. Um, uh, I cleared out this back area uh, the wooded area, that right there was a, a project, uh, I guess, that was a huge project. Uh, it took me three days due to weather. It took me about seven hours total, and I got that done as well. Um, I don't know. I just try to, I picture something in my head, and I'm trying to just make it happen. I don't want to have 50 million projects that are not completed, um, because we're all guilty of that. Uh, it's just, I don't know. There's different priorities. You have to just make certain things higher priorities than others. And uh, like you've heard Jason and Danielle say in videos, we had all the animals up here and those were the high priorities. Uh, we had to make sure they were good. Had to put in fences that we didn't want to build fences. Nobody wants to build fences, but when you have animals, you have to do that stuff. And uh, we completed that. Uh, we still have to build uh, another structure in, in the new pinned-in area. Um, I think we're going to maybe start splitting up the goats from all the birds and stuff and have the birds and the pigs inside the first pen. And then uh, the new pen we built, keep that uh, for goats and stuff. We did, I guess when we first built it, we said it was going to be a multi-use one. We did want to put in a garden in that area, but uh, we may just keep the animals in there for now or for a good while um, until we're able to build like a big pen somewhere else and then have uh, all the goats and stuff roam out there and then possibly turn that pen into a a garden area but um i don't know i want to hold myself accountable for things uh like i said uh t by the end of today which you guys will probably see on the main channel what is today friday probably on sunday i'll just say that um that's another thing i'm holding myself accountable is posting every other day on my main channel and try to post almost every day on this channel but uh my next video that you'll see i will have those three piers dug out. These panels will be looked at. I'm going to try to film all that stuff. Um, and then, I don't know, I'd just clean up a little bit more around here. There's still some uh, trees and stuff that I wanted to uh, just trim up and just make it look a lot nicer out here. Um, there's a little bit more mowing and stuff that needs to be done out towards the pond area, but that can wait. That's not a, a big issue. Uh, I held myself accountable on doing the mowing and stuff out in the field area. Uh, each day I wanted to do a little section and uh, basically at the end of the day I'd spend about an hour on the tractor and uh, do those sections. So I had the whole entire field uh, from the front all the way to the back fence line completely mowed down now. 
Um, then I started working around the pond area and one day I said I want to go from the pond to the back fence line. I knocked that out and then I did another section where I said I wanted to get it done and I knocked that out. It felt good. It looks a lot better out there. It looks maintained. Um, there's still two other sections on that side of the property that uh, I still want to get done. But uh, for now, uh, that can wait. Part of the reason why that can wait is because the terrain over there, uh, there's a lot of little washouts and stuff. So it's a little sketchy being on the tractor uh, mowing that, uh, to say the least. Uh, so there is something that uh, Jason and I have been talking about and talking about getting a zero turn. Uh, a zero turn will be amazing to get for mowing around like the the main uh, shop area, the headquarters, my little section where their tiny house is going to go, and then like along the entrance ways, like small sections where the big tractor would have an issue trying to get in and out of. Those things are not cheap. Um, we're looking at getting a, the brands called Bad Boy, I believe, and I think it's around five thousand uh, dollars. But I I think I'm going to try to finance that. Uh, it may be a, a week or two, maybe before I actually decide to go in and start looking at them and uh, financing one. But that is something we need to get out here. Um, it's kind of like the the tractor. It's it's something expensive, but it's a necessity when you have property like this. You have to maintain it, otherwise it's going to get overgrown. Uh, like I said before, some of the reasons why I wanted to keep everything nice and clean, like the the grass and all that stuff, is because of predators. You be able to see snakes a lot better. Um, if there's coyotes and stuff out there, you'll be able to see them a lot better as well. But, um, I don't know, with having all these dogs and stuff out here, we rarely ever see anything. Like, uh, I know people always mention about, like, uh, coyotes getting the animals, or if we do plant a garden, make sure it's fenced in because a deer will eat it and all that stuff. But, to be honest, I've been out here since the beginning of March, living out here full time, and I haven't seen one coyote. I haven't seen a deer. I have seen uh, some rabbits and armadillos, but um, haven't seen any pigs either, minus the ones we have. But um, I think the dogs do scare a lot of that stuff off. And uh, yeah, I'm not really worried about us planting a garden outside or have fruit trees and stuff and uh, having animals coming up and eating them because, ooh, sounded weird, uh, because of, of the dogs. They, uh, as you saw in my video, earlier, all the dogs were howling. Uh, you do hear coyotes constantly off in the distance. And uh, every time the coyotes start howling, our dogs start howling. And I think that puts off the vibe to the coyotes. Like, there's animals over there. Don't come around. Or other, like, predators, I guess you could say. But um, that is one good thing about having the, the pack of dogs that we have is uh, they do all hang out for the most part together. And when one howls, they all howl. And it does scare off predators. So, um, But I guess I'll end this video with keeping myself accountable my next video you'll see on the main channel, once again, will be fixing the panels, digging out the piers. So if you do not see that on my next video, on the next video on Jared Crocker, comment on that video and just say, dude, Jared, what's the deal? Y'all got to keep me accountable. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call this one a video. I guess I'm going to name it keeping myself accountable or something like that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye, people.